Sir, it is because of the, because of the devotees, pure Vaishnavas, you are glorifying me, but uh, I do not uh, have any qualities and I have been given uh, this uh, uh, seva. So, I, though I do not uh, qualify or uh, nor I am capable uh, because so many exalted devotees have uh, given talks on this japa techniques, japa things and it is a the most challenging task for me as far as, but uh, still, uh, given the service, I would like to say whatever, as a parrot uh, repeats, uh, whatever I have learned from uh, uh, my Shiksha Guru, Rupuni Krishna Prabhu, our, uh, my Diksha Guru, uh, Gopal Krishna Gosai Maharaj, and uh, other Vaishnavas. So I would like to uh, repeat those things only. Though I am also struggling, but I feel that I will get purified by repeating uh, the uh, kind words uh, have, which have been uh, given in the form of the glorification of the holy name. So I have prepared a PPT, small PPT. I would like to share uh, some of the thoughts which I got it and I revised uh, this uh, because of this uh, opportunity or seva, I got uh, uh, to revise them what I learned in the Pajavi Bhag temple. So can I share the screen, Prabhu? Is, and, and am I audible also? Yes, yes, you are very nicely audible. Yeah, you can share, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Uh, Prabhu, host disabled participant screen sharing. So, okay, uh, so let me. So the glories of holy nam are galore. I mean, Hari, like they say, Hari Ananta, Hari Katha Ananta. Same way, the holy name is uh, infinite. Uh, glorif glories of holy name is also infinite. You made me the co-host. Yes, will you please try? No? Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. I can share again. So uh, is my screen uh, visible? Yes, yes. So, what uh, I learned from uh, my, my gurus is chanting Hare Krishna is the most important and powerful practice in Bhakti Yoga because we are in the Bhakti Yoga. We all have now sadhakas. So, uh, at least this is for me. I mean, whatever I am telling is for only for me. Uh, I, uh, it, it, you can... Uh, take some uh, some uh, some things out of it uh, that will be my uh, the the my my uh, the glorification of my guru only and prabhupad uh, shila prabhupad nothing is uh, from my own uh, so uh, basically i am i am a thief i am i'm just presenting whatever i have got it from my uh, guru parampara so chanting krishna's name is our first introduction to krishna so this uh, creates the sambandha uh, because whenever in the material world also, if you want to know somebody, then first thing comes is the name. And that is where we start associating with the person. That's why the holy name is the first introduction of Krishna. So we meet, we can meet Krishna through his name. And if there is a determination to reach Krishna, then we first accept the name of the Krishna. This is uh, given by uh, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur in the Naam Bhajan. And there is no difference between Naam and Nami because Krishna and his holy names are non-different. Uh, but uh, in the anything in the material world is, is absolutely uh, uh, different because water and what, water's name, even if you keep on crying for water, 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 the water will not come. But if you, uh, if you chant the holy name, the Krishna, Krishna will come to us and he will start revealing. So if, if there are conditions, but uh, yes, uh, there is no uh, difference between name and the Nami. And this is the Sadhan and Sadhya. Both are the same uh, because uh, uh, holy name is our ultimate goal. And we Nam, Rupa, Guna, Leela also get revealed through this holy name. So Shikshastakam says Cheto Darpan Marjanam or Namnam Kari Bhauda Nija Sarva Shakti. In all the, uh, the potency of Krishna have been filled in the, this holy name. 
Now, what is the Tattvata? Uh, the holy name is Nama Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purna Shuddho Nitya Mukto Avinatva Nama Namina. So, holy name of Krishna is transcendentally blissful. It provides you bliss because our, our ultimate goal is Krishna Prem. So, we can reach through this holy name only. No other way to reach, to, to get the uh, bliss of the, uh, the, the love of the God, God. And it bestows all spiritual benedictions. So, holy name can provide you even material desires also it can fulfill. It can fulfill the the spiritual desires also. So it is chintamani. That's why whatever you desire, it's a kind of a desire tree. It can give you everything. And Krishna's name is complete and in the form of, it is absolute. And it provides the transcendental mellows. So it is, that's why it is called vigraha. So it can reciprocate also. Holy name can reciprocate like we can reciprocate with anybody. Uh, now, in the relations, relations are known by only the reciprocations. Otherwise, there is no meaning of relations. So, that's why through holy name, we can uh, create a sambandha gyan. And uh, through that, we can reciprocate with Krishna. It is not material under any condition. No pa powerful. It is no less powerful than Krishna himself. So, this is this verse is coming from Padma Puran and also get repeated in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. And Krishna's name is not contaminated by the material qualities. So there is no question of it becoming involved with the Maya. So Maya cannot touch. So, so as long as we are in the association of holy name, the Maya cannot touch. So this is our armor uh, to protect ourselves from the Maya. And Krishna's name is always liberated and spiritual. So, it, it is never conditioned by the laws of material nature. And this is because Krishna and Krishna's name are identical. So, there are only two, uh, two things which are transcendental or uh, spiritual in this material world. What are they? Can anybody write in the chat box? In spiritual world, everything is spiritual. But what are the two things which are there, which are which are uh, spiritual in this material world also? Or can anybody can speak also? Krishna and his name, yes, that is correct. So what is the second one? The deities. Mm. Deities, yes, uh, but uh, uh, these, what we can see, Archavigra, yes, the soul, 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 soul is uh, soul. transcendental, purely. So soul and the holy name, they are the, uh, because, because in this world, in this material world, in the Kali Yuga, our, uh, our uh, the holy name has appeared as a Vigraha. So, deities is actually holy name is also Vigraha, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. You can see. So, you are right in that form that the holy name is also a Vigraha, deities. So, that's why in our, uh, uh, in our temples you will find holy name also written as a uh, deity. You can worship him and uh, we can chant in front of him as if it's a deity and, and we can reciprocate with him. Now, so glories of names have been given in many places because it is coming directly from Golok. Golok era premadhana harinama sankirtana. And in Chaitanya Charitamat, it is also written that Tara Madhya Sarvasheshta Nama Sankirtan. So it is the uh, Chaitanya Charitamat Antya Leela, chapter 471. So what it means is Tar Madhya of the nine processes of devotional service, which are Shramanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Archanam, Dasyam, Atma, Nivedanam. So all these nine processes, this is the, the Sarvashesht. This is the topmost of the uh, all nine processes of the holy name, of the uh, devotional services. 
So five most, then in Rupa Goswami, in the Nectar of Devotion also uh, speaks about the uh, holy name. And among the 64 devotional bhakti processes, he has defined that five are the most powerful and potent bhakti processes. So among them, topmost is the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Because in Kali Yuga, Kali Yuga is only Kali Yuga Keval Nama Dhara. Sumeri Sumeri Nara Uttarahi Para. So we, this is the only process by which we can go back to Godhead or we can liberate. Yeah, if, if, because, because there are stages of uh, uh, stages of uh, uh, Harinam. So Shuddha Nam, uh, Nama Bhas and uh, uh, with the offensive uh, chanting, we can get different, different uh, uh, stages of our, so with the, with the Shuddha Nam, we can achieve uh, the love of Godhead, but uh, with the Nama Bhas, we can get the Vaikuntha Mukti, we can, we can liberate it, liberation plus Vaikuntha also we can get, like Ajamil got the Vaikuntha uh, through Nama Bhas, only without any offense he chanted, but without any uh, the conviction that it is the actually real, knowing the glories of the name he chanted. So uh, that's why he, he achieved the Vaikuntha. But uh, with the Shuddha Nam, we can achieve even the uh, love of the Godhead. And uh, Golokera Premna, we have already discussed this. Now in the Ramcharit Manas also we see a lot of glories of the holy name. So uh, Tulsi Das Ji uh, the, uh, writes Rama Nama Mani Deepa Daru Jiha Devri Dwar Tulsi Bhitar Bahiro Jo Chahas uh, Ujiyar, which means you put the holy name at the threshold of your tongue of tongue, tip of the tongue, which will what will it do? It will it will enlighten you from inside, it will enlighten you from outside. So both ways it will if you want. So this is the door, this is the if you want uh, to uh, get enlightenment or knowledge with the light of knowledge, then this is the way to get. And Ram se bada Ram ka naam. This is also a famous saying that Ram, Lord Ram delivered or Ram Krishna also when he was in the uh, Vrindavan Dham, he delivered only few which can be counted. But when but the holy name has delivered how many people? Millions, trillions or infinite for that. But Krishna or Ram, he himself, when he appeared in this world, he had delivered only limited people because uh, the holy name, like Prabhupada went to uh, various places, he delivered with the holy name only. So th that is the uh, glory of this holy name that uh, it can deliver uh, in this uh, Kali Yuga or any of the, uh, the importance of holy name has been in all Yuga. But in Kali Yuga, it is all the more very important. And same way, Tulsidas also writes, Goswami Tulsidas ji also writes, Sumiri Pavan Sut Pavan Namu, Apane Baskari Raku Ramu. So he could control, you can control Krishna or Ram through the holy name. Because he is Hanuman, Shiva, they are always chanting the holy names. And Maha Mantra Joy Japat Mahesu Kasi Mukuti Hetu Upadesu. Like, like there is a saying that if you uh, if you leave your body in Kashi or Pashupatinath, then what how do you get delivered? It is because Shiva is so merciful that he will speak, chant the holy name in your ears when you are passing away. And because of that, you get mukti. And same way, Jani Adi Kabi Nama Pratapu Bhayav Shuddha Kari Ulta Japu. So holy name, even if you chant the other way around, like Ram, Ram, Mara, Mara, Mara. So Valmiki uh, Lord became very Shuddha. Earlier he was a uh, dacoit, but then he, with the, uh, when, when his guru, Narada Muni, gave him this holy name, he became the one of the topmost devotee. And he wrote the entire Ramayana, which is uh, we, we are, uh, which is still there in uh, very, very popular uh, scriptures of our uh, present day. So that means how much, uh, how much glory the holy name has uh, in various scriptures. Now, wh why it is important for a sadhaka 
uh, holy name is very, very important because quality of our spiritual life is proportionate to quality of Japa. Now, six things of material life as per Manusprati is like birth, death, happiness, distress, profit, loss, fame, defame, Ani, Lab, Jeevan, Varan, Yash, Apyash, Vidihat, we say. So, which means we, we do not control. And our response to these six things will depend upon our quality of Japa. So, if we are, uh, if, if we are very good, we are doing good Japa, then our response will not be, we will be detached to these dualities of life. Birth, death, happiness, distress, profit, loss. And that is what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita also, that we have to be reaching a stage which is indifferent to these dualities of life. And these are not there in the spiritual world. These are dualities of life are there only in the material world. And Harinam is our life. We must manage our life to support the holy name. So our entire goal should be to support the holy name. Our all activities of the day or of our, the entire uh, year should be to support the holy name. And that is uh, by Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur. Uh, Maharaj said so. And quality of Japa is the thermometer of our spiritual life. Because that is what, how you can any, uh, our guru can tell, a doctor can tell that uh, what is the level of disease. So if we are not like uh, Haridas Thakur when he was ending his, his life before uh, he said I am diseased man because I am not able to chant my rounds. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said no, no, you have chanted for the all through life and you don't require, but he was not taking even Anna uh, because he was, when, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to send him Prasadam of Jagannath, then he last, in, in his last days he said, Prabhu, I am not able to chant my whole rounds and that's why I am in a disease condition. So, this means this is a thermometer of our spiritual life. We get the mercy of the Lord only through our strong desire and sincere endeavors. So that's why it, if we need to continue our desire. Uh, we need to have strong desire and sincere endeavors. And morning japa fine-tunes our consciousness. And that's why it is very important because it the entire day, thereafter, all what whatever we do, it becomes bhakti. And why morning is very important? Because all demigods are moving around the Brahma Murta and they are very pleased and they give benediction, they also become supportive during this morning hours. So first thing, first of our spiritual life, which is the topmost priority, like they say, there is a car boot space, what you fill the first is the bigger luggages. So bigger luggages means those which are very important to you and then the smaller things you put it. So in, for, in a routine of 24 hours, we should be filling the, the most important part of us our uh, activity, which is Harinam. And if we do that, then the whole day will become very, quite, quite long. And the activity, be, all the activities will be carried out very effectively. And this is the, our spiritual masters, the most essential order also. So we should be following that as well. And this becomes the armor of our uh, armor. We, we should be, because, because we are going to the Maya. Every day in, day out, we are moving out and we are entering the Maya. We, we have to deal with Maya only. We, we get the uh, ammunition uh, through this holy name that we can deal the rest of the 22 hours with Maya very effectively. So we can be always spiritual. Now, some of the tips which I learned, uh, though I am not, uh, I am also practicing and I am trying to implement some of them. But uh, uh, these are very uh, helping. Like there are five stages of uh, sadhaka. So initially we hate chant my round because somebody says that we don't do it because of the our contamination, previous contaminations, previous life's contamination and our desires to enjoy doership mentality. So second stage will come. I have to chant my round because somebody said forcefully that uh, this is the only way to get this thing. So I have to, then I get my chant round. Okay, somehow I get my uh, rounds done. And then next stage is I want to chant my rounds. Then there is a some in, desire 
from within that, okay, I want to chant my rounds. And the last stage is I love to chant my rounds. So these are five stages uh, in the chanting. And five A's of chanting is attraction, attention, attachment, absorption, and affection. So these are also stages like attraction. First will be the attraction. Then attraction will lead to attention. Attention will lead to attachment. And atten attachment will lead to absorption. And absorption will lead to affection. So this is a process of Shraddha to Prem, Krishna Prem, so Adho Shraddha, Tatho, Sadhu Sang. Now some of the uh, some more tips like we should take uh, Sankalpa on Ekadashi, like Nirjala Ekadashi is just around the corner. We should be trying to chant in the association of devotees, then uh, uh, it would be very potent uh, way. And on that day, if we Sankalpa, because Ekadashi is very Anukul for Bhakti. Our um, <coughs> Bhakti Vinod Thakur writes the Ekadashi Mahatma that uh, uh, it is uh, what is called that uh, Hari Toshani. So uh, this is a day when we get the most mercy of the Lord. Then Dham Yatra also in association with devotee helps to improve our Japa austerity with firm determination because if we are always uh, have an enjoying mentality, uh, then a doership mentality, then we may not have that taste of Harinam. Uh, enthusiastically participate in appearance and disappearance of Lord Acharyas and our Vyaspuja of our Guru Maharaj. Because that is day when again all our Guru Parampara and our Guru Parampara and Lord is very, very blissful, blessing, blessing, uh, they bless us on this day. They are very happy. And services on festivals like uh, our Anand Valla Prabhu also talked about those services. Service leads to a good holy name and holy name leads to good service. They are all, both complementary to each other. Then five P's for Japa. Uh, they, th this is like uh, what are very important for us. Like place is very important. Uh, if you are in the less distraction area, sattvic place, peaceful, less noisy then it leads to a better, because mind uh, does not get distracted much uh, in these areas. And these are favorable conditions. So best is to, and, and they say best is to sit at one place, not, uh, not too many uh, places, because uh, again, uh, we are jivas, so we'll get distracted if we are going outside and uh, any other place. And posture is also important because it helps our uh, uh, breathing, techniques like pranayam, asana, dhyan, all these things are helping uh, to um, controlling the mind. and my, because, because mind is our uh, biggest uh, distractor and uh, disturbing element in the japa. And uh, we'll see other uh, ways to control our mind also. Pronunciation, liquid, loud, LCD. So loud, crystal, uh, clear and distinct. This should be our uh, uh, we should be chanting loud enough to hear that mantra. Then clear, it should be very clearly pronunciation should be there and distinct all like Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. They should be very distinctly uh, uh, pronounced as well as heard. And Japa should be swift to keep our mind focused. We should be uh, not giving too many gaps. Then our mind will go away here and there. And, and this also gives a sense of urgency because we are praying to the Lord. By It's a genuine cry, uh, like a baby crying for her mother. Uh, so because of that, uh, it attracts the attention of Srimati Radharani. And we can record our japa also to improve further and further. Uh, whether we are really hearing, we are really clearly pronunciation, uh, pronouncing all those uh, uh, syllables. And it is loud enough. Then we should be present also. Present uh, because mind is a bird with two wings. Past and present. It keeps on flipping from past to present. And in the material world, Harinam is, should be in the front seat. Seva is supportive. Because if we are uh, in, uh, doing only Seva and no holy name, then the Seva will not be supportive. Whereas in the spiritual world, Seva is at the front seat because you need not have the holy name. There we, we do only Seva because we are asking for Seva only through Hare Krishna or Radharani, please give us involve, engage us in the service. 
so in the once we are into spiritual world we don't do uh, harinam there we do only seva there because we have we have reached to that stage and uh, krishna has allowed us to enter into the uh, the spiritual world goloka and prayers prayers are very very potent very important point because uh, and we should always be uh, praying before starting any japa that how much i am blessed uh, that i got this human life first of all this is a path to liberation because all other jeevas 84 uh, uh, 84 lakhs of uh, species they do not have any uh, the, the 80 lakhs basically human life is the only life wherein we can chant the hari naam and brahmande brahmite kon bhagyavan ji guru krishna krupa pai bhakti lata beej so if you are got the this bhakti lata beej is the hari naam and if we can get this hari naam we should be always be thankful to the god that okay we are into human life now we should be doing the chanting the rounds then hari naam prabhu ki jay because it is chaitanya vigra and we should always be heavy dependence on the holy name because a sadhakas is always dependent on krishna's mercy the best devotee so same way guru maharaj shila prabhupad senior vaishnavas parampara because it, 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 our movement is kripa's movement holy everything is depends on mercy our spiritual progress depends only on mercy not on our endeavors our endeavors are only a one part of it but then there are many other parts deva like krishna says in bhagavad gita also 18th chapter it is the our only endeavors will not lead to everything so we should always be asking for seeking for the mercy and mercy comes from seva so because if we do some seva to vaishnavas then mercy automatically comes we need not ask also for the mercy then uh, in the uh, narottam das thakur has also written normally i also do with rukmini krishna prabhu suggested that okay we should chant initially before uh, chanting uh, shri rup sanatan bhat ragunath shri jeev gopal bhat das ragunath e chahi ka sahi kare charan vandan yaha haila vignanash abhishth puran so yaha haila vignanash whatever those vignas which come during our chanting uh, those are uh, going they they go away because of the mercy of this lord and abhishth puran what whatever we desire they also get fulfilled so our uh, all shad goswamis are very very powerful uh, uh, for such uh, activities when we start any any service and harinam is among the topmost service then prayers before sleep also we can do prabhupad mantra that request that i get early chant then uh, japa is always weakened by material desire so we should be in the whole day also we should be careful that how much we what we are associating and what association we should be giving association rather than taking the association of the uh, material world people but uh, yes we should be taking the association whenever we get from the devotees which are ex, uh, senior vaishnavas and those who are very very enthusiastic uh, uh, doing the all the services of the lord then uh, proper mood is also fuel to the effective japa so three m's what we call mood mentality and mindset so mood should be of a begging mentality because tranadapi sunichain taroropi shaishna he only can chant so begging and with gratitude and humility not the achievers mood because we, okay we we can do very good japa on one day but that mood if it is of achievers mood then it will not attract the krishna's attention krishna gets attracted only to those who are very much in the begging mood or in a very humility uh, it attracts krishna then mentality also serving versus enjoying so we should be always have the mentality to it is we are chanting for the pleasure of the guru goranga and not for our own pleasure because that will if we are doing it for our own pleasure it will again lead to a doership mentality enjoying mentality and mindset mindset should be enthusiastic positive should be because holy name is the nourishment of the soul now few things i will just complete in 2 3 minutes Uh, mind is our uh, biggest distractor so chanchala hi manash krishna in bhagavad gita uh, arjun says then bhagwan 
reply is that abhyasen and vairagyan. So what are our abhyas? Anukulasya sankalpa or what is vairagya? Pratikulasya varjanam. Because we are changed. Anukulasya sankalpa because our guru has given this morning sadhana which is anukul to our, our devotional service practices and vairagya is we, we should be leaving all those. So, regulative principles, following the regulative principles, or we do not do prajalpa like utsah, nishchaya, dhiryat, this is abhyas, and uh, uh, prajalpo, nemagra, all those uh, which are, uh, uh, which are uh, negative to pratikulasya to our devotional practices, we should be leaving them. So, mind is the source of both happiness, distress. It keeps on flipping between these two and our, it, it leads to mind will always protect our false ego because it is a defend, defender of false ego and wherein the false ego is what? I am doer, I am the enjoyer. But our real ego is Jeeva Swarupa Krishna Nitya Das. So that is where we have to tune it to with the uh, association of devotees. We have to tune our uh, real ego. We have to uh, enlighten or we have to awaken our real ego and uh, put our false ego into the uh, back seat. Because Maya will exam and attack mind. Maya attack, Maya took exam of even Haridas Thakur uh, in the form of Maya Devi. But he was such an enthusiastic, such a determined person. Uh, so he could defeat. But uh, uh, we are at the sadhaka stage. You have to be very, very careful. So, Sankalpa will determination and Vikalpa. Mind will give you many, many Vikalpas. Vikalpa means options. So, mind will say, okay, oh, you, you want to do some determination, uh, then um, Vikalpa will accept. Sorry, some. Yeah. So, Mind uh, should be, uh, should not, we should not uh, uh, let the mind absorb so thing, so many things that gives rise to pride and envy because they are the most nourished, they, they provide the most nourishment to the false ego. And false ego is our biggest enemy because uh, Krishna says mind can be our biggest enemy, mind can be our biggest friend. So if we can make a mind as a friend, then it will cooperate. If it is uh, in the form of enemy, then it will not cooperate and it will, uh, in, it will uh, encourage your uh, false ego only and it will take you away from Krishna, what Maya wants also. So, next I will um, say, so how to take, tackle some of the, uh, the mind? Because we, we, we can observe it because flow of thoughts will keep coming. They, they, there is a saying like 86,600 thoughts come every day. Now we have to control. So if we are in a mode of goodness, then our uh, thoughts will reduce. But in the Tamaguna, our continuous thoughts are coming and they are leading us to uh, the decline in our uh, away from the uh, spiritual progress. So mind in the mode of passion will think of the future. But mind in the mode of ignorance will think of past, whatever has happened. We'll just keep on uh, regretting or maybe um, <coughs> lamenting for past and uh, uh, future planning in the mode of passion. But if we are in the mode of goodness, then we are in the present and we can embrace the sweetness of the holy name also. Now, yeah. So, so some more uh, tips like uh, what is the significance of proving point? Uh, because we are we are here in this world only for a few years. Uh, right or wrong, crowning success, dredging up the pains, unpleasant experiences. There is no nothing. So we should be always be. These things only lead to our to mode of passion or mode of ignorance, and that is where we should be careful. And these can be eliminated in the association of devotees. So, once a week at least we should try to visit temple during the morning arti, mangala arti and do the programs uh, 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 along with the devotees so that it, 
it recharges us for the whole week. And uh, Prabhupada says books are my basis. So the books, re book reading of Srila Prabhupada is also very important uh, uh, in improving our japa. And following a regulated life because our regulated life means uh, we should be doing many things at a that much say at the same time like japa also if we do repeatedly at the same time it will uh, improve the quality of uh, japa uh, slowly and avoiding criticism because criticism leads to aparad rashna aparad so criticism starts with casual mode but then it can go we it's a very finer uh, boundary wherein uh, we can go and commit aparad which will uh, be like a uh, elephant in the Bhakti Lata garden. So, elephant will destroy all the Bhakti Lata. So, that should be very, very careful because Vaishna Aparad is the, the most offending thing and uh, this is the most detrimental to our growth. And uh, five regulative principles are there. We follow, but at the same time, the sixth one, fifth one is the holy name. So, match, they call it M-A-T-C-H, mercy, austerity, truthfulness, cleanliness. So, these are all uh, like daya, um, austerity is tapa, uh, whatever we, we not, mercy is uh, not uh, meat eating, uh, leads to no, because these are pillars of dharma. So, mercy uh, leads to no meat eating, austerity leads to to uh, no gambling, truthfulness uh, is uh, no gambling, uh, austerity is uh, 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 this uh, no uh, uh, include cleanliness is uh, shuchi, which is uh, the which, which protects our um, uh, through holy name we, we clean internal also and external cleanliness also and call out for help because uh, uh, this is a very good thing uh, that uh, there are gundas on the highway, but there is a police also patrolling on the highway. So we should ask for, because, because sometimes there may be lusty desires, something, some uh, other desires which are coming during the holy name, uh, during the chant chanting. So that time we can cry for uh, help from Srila Prabhupada, Srila Rupa Goswami, Namachari, Haridas Thakur, etc. So they will be uh, very easily we can bring mind back into the chanting. So, this is all points I wanted to share. Thank you very much. Uh, if there are any comments, uh, questions, I don't know how much I'm capable to answer, but uh, comments you can provide me. Uh, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you so thank much, you. Prabhuji. It was it's sufficient for us for to focus for the lifetime. <laughs> it's such a enriched uh, uh, knowledge about the holy name so i personally like the perspective from ramayana you quoted so beautiful dohas uh, giving a perspective from the ramayana that how even ramayana glorifies the holy names so thank you very much uh, i would like uh, any devotees to open up and ask questions okay so harshad prabhu uh, is uh, glorifying that uh, a great presentation Prabhuji you have just mentioned uh, that Japa without a struggle isn't a good Japa may I kindly request you to please elaborate this for my better understanding thank you for the question Prabhu okay uh, struggle uh, because uh, uh, the they say the, the our our, uh, uh, our devotional service if it is a very static, okay, then it is like a, uh, someone gave the example like um, in ECG, if there is a static line, what does it indicate? Dead. dead. <laughs> is, is dead. So we are because humans will have definitely we are part of this world, material world and we have to deal with this material world also. So our sadhana may grow go uh, in, a, in a cyclic pattern also or maybe not even exactly cyclic pattern then it can be a wavering uh, kind of a uh, approach then uh, in that case we should be always be uh, taking the support uh, of um, uh, because because there is a constant struggle uh, maya is trying to uh, test us and always uh, trying to put us in difficult uh, position uh, 
like uh, Maya Devi tested Hridas Thakur also, even though he, he was a Brahma's avatar in this world. So, we, so continuous struggle will be there and um, uh, struggle really, uh, if we are uh, doing it in, in um, uh, to, to serve our, our, like Prabhupada struggle, how much Prabhupada struggled for so many years. And then only Krishna was pleased uh, like entire life, like till 60 years, 70 years when he left for America. Till that time, even one year after that, till 71 years, he struggled a lot. Then Krishna became very, very merciful and then this Prabhupada's moment happened. So, struggle will always be there and struggle attracts Krishna's attention. That, okay, he is my Lord Radharani also. Now, at that point of time, uh, she will recommend that, okay, Krishna, because uh, Bhakti Krishna doesn't give very, very automatically. Like, uh, uh, Devi Devtas, our demigods will give you everything what you want with very little struggle. Because they, 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 they will give you, they, they, they don't give you Bhakti. They will give you only material possessions. But Krishna always will test us. And that struggle, we have to uh, be, uh, we have to, uh, we have to embrace that struggle with pleasure, joy, through the association of the devotees and through Shastric injunctions. Like Bhagavatam gives so many devotees had struggle. Outwardly, it looks like like uh, Prahlad Maharaj, Dhruv Maharaj, all these people have struggled entire life, but they they became the pure devotee of the Lord because Krishna loved them internally and he was protecting at each and every stage. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you for a beautiful answer. So we have a question uh, by our Nishant Prabhuji. Uh, so please go ahead, Nishant Prabhuji. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu Dhanvat Pranam. Hare Krishna Prabhu Dhanvat Pranam. Uh, thank you Prabhuji for very uh, pointed and uh, nectarian uh, lecture today. Uh, Prabhuji, one practical question I had was, uh, um, as uh, our quality of chanting also depends on how we behave with Vaishnavas. And yes. <clears throat> you talked about Vaishnava Aparat. And yes. in day-to-day -day affairs, when we are dealing with lot of devotees for some uh, service or the other or in general also we discuss uh, yes. sometimes when we are in long term association in the beginning we are very enthusiastic in due course it's the same face, it's the same body it's the same connect, it's the same philosophy so at times we become very uh, comfortable and start yes. forming opinions uh, in the beginning when you see the neophyte devotees coming in they are in all of all the uh, all the uh, uh, devotees, senior devotees. But in due course, when you see the same things uh, repeating in different forms, I'm saying at gross level, Prabhuji, uh, not at the Pratik level, uh, the, uh, the mind starts playing trick and you start forming opinions. And uh, the confusion is whether that opinion uh, is, a, is, a, is a fine line in terms of whether I'm doing aparad or actually if I don't speak, I'm tolerating inside is also not right because it's it's uh, building up. So, uh, or sometimes devotees think that, oh, I am not being treated rightly or uh, I am falling down because of seniors not treating me in this way, that way. Meri pooch nahi jaise hota hai na. Bachchon ki ghar mein agar maa baap pooch nahi karte hai, to bachche bhi karte hai. Bachchon pe bhi depend karta hai. Lekin maa baap pe bhi depend karta hai. So, Prabhuji, how to understand, how to manage this equation for the devotees who have been there constantly in their uh, spiritual journey with, and, and the main worry is Vaishnava Prat. Yes. Pandit yes. Samadarshana. How, yes. I mean, obviously we are neophyte, we are not even uh, Kanishta Dikai devotees. So how to, how to uh, digest that, how to manage that approach? Hare Krishna. Prabhu, thank you very much. Uh, very good question. Very uh, frequently asked question also in uh, such Japa talks. So our Prabhu says, uh, Rukmini Krishna Prabhu, I'm always stating him because I have heard most of these things uh, from him only. So there is a saying like uh, familiarity leads to contempt. Uh, if we become too close to um, uh, devotees or even our Guru Maharaj for that matter, because uh, if then we'll see him as a 
normal devotee. We will not see as a uh, as a uh, exalted one because we'll see his, his practices are also he is also eating, he is also uh, sleeping, he is also because in this world everybody is doing the same things. But then uh, the, there are uh, his his stage may be exalted. He he may be uh, uh, seeing it seeing us at the that Pandita Samadarshina, but we also needs constantly uh, upgrading our uh, knowledge through the association. We should not be, we, we, we can avoid aparads or if even if we have committed some aparad, then the best thing is to go to that same person only and uh, ask uh, for the, uh, for some remorse. Maybe you can do some seva to him. Uh, even if he, uh, or, or we can ask uh, uh, for the forgiving, uh, we can we can um, seek his uh, forgiveness. We can uh, say sorry uh, that I did a mistake. That realization itself, prayaschit, is the biggest. Uh, uh, it 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 nullifies the sins, all sins. Like in uh, Parikshit Maharaj asks, uh, how what is the atonement? Atonement is the only way to uh, avoid those sinful reactions. So if we have committed any Vaishnava aparad. Uh, the best way is to go to that person only and very genuinely we should be seeking the uh, the uh, the ex uh, sorry we, we should be expressing that sorry and at the same time sub subsequently we should be serving that uh, uh, de devotee because serving will uh, uh, will will change his heart and uh, it, uh, it is like in uh, bhagavatam also like Am ambrish maharaj when uh, uh, the Durvasa Muni, he committed offense, sin, then uh, he, uh, what, what, what happened actually? Durvasa Muni went even to the Lord, but Lord says, no, I can't even give you anything. I can't, uh, uh, I can't pardon you. Only uh, person who can forgive you is the person whom you committed the offense. So, if we should be, although we should be very careful, but Shastras, there are examples wherein uh, we, uh, it, it is a clear indication that how to deal with such Vaishnava Prats if they have, they are committed by knowingly or unknowingly also we can check sometimes in a, uh, to, to various devotees, if we feel that there is a difference in the behavior or something, we can always check whether, but, but best approach is to Talk straightforward, not through, through, through. Because through, 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 sometimes the message goes uh, very differently and there can be a communication gap. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Prabhu. You, Prabhu. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful answer, Prabhu. Very good question. Thank you, Nisan, Prabhu. Very practical question. So, yeah, we are running sort of time. Uh, is there any last question we can take? Apart from that, Prabhuji, there's a high demand for the beautiful <clears throat> presentation you have worked out. I can share this presentation also in yeah. the soft copy form. I'll share in the group. Yes, that will be very helpful. Many yeah. people think. Yes, Prabhuji. Is there any last question? <clears throat> yeah, if not, then uh, we'll really call it off at this point. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Prabhuji, for helping. We had almost 40 uh, Vaishnavas and Vaishnavi joining. Thank you so much for your time. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Vansha Kalpita Vaishya Kripa Sindhu Bhev Chattati Dana Pavne Bhe Vaishnavi. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Thank you, Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you.